Now that is Dr. Lewis, whose great ideas helped to put food on my table. Let's look at his acid base theory. A Lewis acid is an electron pair receiver, and a Lewis base, well, that's an electron pair donor. Now, I don't entirely agree with those two definitions, and I'll talk about that at the end. The IB likes to have two classic examples, and these are they. The first one is boron trihydride and ammonia. So, if I put those together, the lone pair on the nitrogen from the ammonia makes a dative covalent bond with that central boron atom. And I'm going to draw an arrow to show what a dative covalent bond is there. Let me redraw that out uh, tidily. So you can see that the ammonia has given away an electron pair. And the boron trihydride has received it. Lewis acid, Lewis base. As a small point of reference, the sp2 hybridized boron has now turned into sp3. Sometimes they like to ask that question. Sometimes I like to ask that question. Most of the time I don't. And let's look a little bit more into that bond. It's a dative or coordinate, if you will, covalent bond. And that means that both electrons came from one atom. I'll put a link just here to a video that will explain that more. The second classic example is a central transition metal iron with a ligand, making a dative covalent bond. Isn't that all that complex, complicated stuff that you did before? It is indeed. So who'd have thought that complexes are actually Lewis acid-base interactions? The Lewis base is behaving like a ligand and you've actually made a complex. I got this on Wikipedia. A Lewis base is also a bronsted lowry base. But a Lewis acid doesn't need to... What? Okay, let me just see if that's true. I do trust Wikipedia most of the time. So here are some bronsted lowry bases, all the ones I can think of that will fit. Are they also Lewis bases? You know they are. They all had at least one lone pair of electrons to make a dative covalent bond. In this case, with H+. Yep, they're a Lewis base because they're donating that electron pair. They're a bronsted lowry base because they're receiving a proton, an H+. And don't forget to put in those arrows to show dative covalent bonds. What about the opposite? A Lewis acid isn't necessarily a bronsted lowry acid. Copper 2 plus is a Lewis acid. Yes, yes, it doesn't have to be a bronsted lowry. Bronsted lowry acids have H pluses to donate. Copper 2 plus, there is no H plus. Alrighty, have a look at these ones. Pause the video if you want. What's the Lewis acid? What's the Lewis base? Ah, that's pretty straightforward. The Lewis base donates an electron pair, Lewis acid receives. So Thornley, you think you're so clever that this theory is wrong? Well, I think you saw that the electron pairs were not being received and the electron pairs were not being donated. They were kind of being donated and shared or received and shared. To me, a donation is a total transfer of electrons. But what do I know? 